I'm Bill Shannett. Um, I've been with Berkey's in Galesburg for 16 years, a little over 16 years. Last December was my 16th season within Berkey's Farm Store. When I started into the sales industry, uh, I worked for Sears Roebuck and Company and I was a part-time shoe salesman. That's how I got my start selling anything. And they actually moved me back to the automotive department and then pretty soon I was um, I, I was a manager of the hard lines half of the store, so I, all the appliances and all that kind of thing. I actually left Sears and went to work for a, we had a local um, discount chain, it was called Jack's Discount Stores. They were based out of Quincy, and we had 23 locations. And I actually ran the Jack's store here in Galesburg. I left Jack's and I came to work at that point. This building was um, West Bay Equipment Company and they were a Case IH dealer, Cub Cadet, and things like that. I came out and applied for a position. I actually told them that they needed somebody to sell the small stuff, and that's how I got my foot in the door. And I sold the smaller horsepower, the lawn and garden. I worked for West Bay's for, for several years, and actually Cub Cadet uh, uh, called me to ask me to go to work for them. It seemed like a good opportunity, so I went to work for Cub Cadet, and I, I ended up covering the United States, the northern half. I worked from the state of Washington down to Colorado to the Great Lakes. I had nine territory reps that worked for me. How I got into Berkey's is really interesting. Um, I was actually having a meeting with Ron Berkey and Mark Foster, um, previous owners, and I was trying to help them you know, set up a, a plan for Cub Cadet power equipment. And um, they were reluctant to take what I was suggesting to order. And I, I mentioned to them that, you know, I, that this was sort of home base for me and I would take care of them because someday I'd like to come back to work here. And about a year later, they called me and that's how I came back to, to work for Berkey's Farm Store and they asked me to manage the facility and, and that's where it's come to at this point. We kind of got a running joke here in the parts department since he semi-retired and moved over to Lawn and Garden Sales is we watch him sell mowers to customers and once he gets that customer sitting on the mower, it's a done deal. That's, that's, that's where we can tell that the customer is going to commit because he's got them sitting on it. Man, selling's easy. It's not that hard. You get what people want and take care of them, they come back. He, he's always, it doesn't matter if it was Cub Cadet X, Mark, Case IH. Um, a good customer advocate and things like that. He was just always trying to help a guy get uh, the piece of equipment that they needed um, and just build relationships. You know, when you're working for the big boxy kind of stores, it's whoever's got the best price, you know. Here, it's can you take care of the customer? Can you do what you say you're gonna do? We want our customers to be successful. You know, I tell you, one of the things I'm proud of, um, getting the younger people, the young guys in the shop, I love working with the young people. He's always taken care of me and he's always looked out for us and he's the one who got me into the program. Originally when I came to the program, I had an interview with him and then I went into construction and I didn't want to be part of the program at the time and then after I'd been doing that for about a year, I gave him a phone call and said, hey, is that offer still stand? He said, sure, come on down, we'll get you signed up. I guess one of the things I've taken from him is just don't let the little things eat at you. Just got to learn to let things go. Goodness, if he finds out that you like hunting or fishing, uh, if you like either of those, you're going to spend an hour with him and you're not even probably going to talk too much about business. It's going to be about hunting and fishing. I fish in, in fishing tournaments, bass fishing tournaments. My daughter is my, my partner now for our fishing tournament. We're in a part of a club. And um, my son, he, he's got another partner, so we fish against each other out there, you know, and, and that's, that's fun. And then we we have a, my mom has a small farm down by Rushville, south of Macomb. And man, we spend quite a bit of time down there hunting, my, my nephew and my son and I. And the other thing I've started doing just a few years ago, I build custom fishing rods and I do repair work. I can even put a little bling on them now, you know, make, put a little braid on them and look, make them look really cool. get a little bit more sentimental now. Uh-oh, this is, I got my Kleenex <laughs> down here. What's kind of the biggest thing you'll miss about Berkey's? Oh, just being around all the people. And that's the struggle. It's not like I'm leaving, you know, I mean, I'm still here and I still see, 
you know, I see a lot of my customers at church, um, see them at the grocery stores. They've been good to me because when I came in, man, I had a lot to learn, you know. I'm not, I never farmed, you know. My job was to make sure that they could do it, you know, that they could get the equipment, get the service parts, whatever it is they needed, you know. So I, I got to work with some really, really good people. More than anything, just thanks, thank you. We'll miss him and, you know, wish him best in his future endeavors and hopefully he enjoys his fishing and all the things I know he's going to be doing. I wish him best on his retirement and I hope the fish are always biting. Bill, I'm uh, super excited for you for your final retirement here. Uh, get out and enjoy some fishing time, some hunting time with, with the family and especially time with, with your granddaughter. Excited as heck for you, my friend. Uh, very proud to have been working with you over the past 13 years. Uh, best of luck, Bill, and I appreciate you taking on a chance on me there nine and a half years ago. Go get the big one, Bill.